Former President Trump does not think he'll be seeing President Biden on the campaign trail. Watch this. Do you think Biden will stay in the race? Look, uh, I, I watch him just like you do. And I think it's almost inappropriate for me to say it. But I deal with other people. I don't see, I don't see how it's possible. But there's something wrong. I saw his answer today on television about whether or not he was going to run. That was a long answer, of talking about the eggs and the this and that. Look, I don't think he can. I don't think he can. I think I've said that myself, as a matter of fact. Rob Smith joining us this morning. Yes. I don't think Biden runs. I don't think the Democrats will let him run. What say you? Um, I do think that he runs, actually. But here's the thing. And the reason why that they are so afraid um, of really putting him out there is this. You know, he can't run from the basement again, right? So in 2020... Uh, he basically campaigned in very small things. He very much campaigned through the basement. But if he runs again in 2024, he has to be out there. He has to take questions from the media. Um, he has to go out there on the campaign trail. He has to do that. And that creates more possibilities for him to have it. these bad viral moments that we're seeing. But he I still do think that he does, because here's the thing. I think, and this is my objective opinion, that the left thinks that Trump is the only candidate that Biden can be, right? If Trump gets the nomination, and I really do think that he's on the path to getting the nomination, then Biden will run again. They've ran that playbook against Trump. Uh, they know how to do it. And I think that they will flip on that switch. All of the Trump haters will come out, and then that's their path to 2024. I really do see that. It's going to make okay. a lot of people mad, okay. but that is my objective opinion. Politics is fascinating. And yes. Is that well, why the, D the convention is in Illinois? Because their path, once again, runs through the Midwest? Is that I, how they see it? I believe so. I really do believe so. I think that people really do underestimate um, the, the visceral hatred for Trump that people uh -huh. on the left have. There's nobody with TDS on this stage, so we can't understand it. But I do know people with TDS, and I think that we have to understand that this hate is still out there. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that one. Yes. Listen to this. Kellyanne Conway, she says the GOP's got a lot of work to do getting on, on board with young voters. Watch this, please. I think we've already won the policy arguments on the economy, on education, on a number of issues. I think we've got some work to do on the young people who think um, differently on abortion, perhaps, or guns or climate change. But even there, the Democrats' messages are usually cynical. The place I'm really the thing I'm really concerned about with this, Laura, is that the left becomes a turnout machine with young a, people. A turnout machine. That was Wisconsin in yes. the Supreme Court thing, where yes. the liberal won by 10 points because yes. they'd organized the colleges. Can the GOP organize youngsters? I don't think so. The GOP has a blind spot with the Zoomers, particularly um, with, with the culture aspect. So I run an organization called Stop Woke. And what we do, a lot of what we do, is we focus um, center-right content on Generation Z voters. I hear over and over and over again from donors, well, uh, Turning Point is doing this, or PragerU is doing that. These are both fabulous organizations. But for every one of those, the left has about 15 to 20 of those. So mm -hmm. we are not competing um, to get Generation Z voters in the ways that that we should be. And if the GOP does not wake up to this, they're going to lose again. Okay. Rob Smith, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate Thanks, guys. It.